Hey guys, so today I thought I'll bring to you an anime review of High School of the Dead. The review is also on my blogger down below. So I'll put the link in the description so you can read it there. I actually posted it ages ago. And this is the video version because it, the video version might be more fun. I'd just like to say this is an 18 plus video. But you 15 plus is allowed and you 13 year olds. I am not going to vlog you from this video. So enjoy. I mean, this was the first anime I ever completed. So I was pretty young. Please don't tell my parents. of YouTube, you could probably see yourself in the glasses. That's you. Swag. The dog's taking a pee. So first off, I'll give you... See, I'm using my phone for it. You can't even see. Genre, ecchi, action and horror. And age rating is 18 plus because of nudity, violence and gore. It's not that gory, but then again, you do have fight scenes and zombies getting beaten the fuck up. This is one of the animes that I've been able to watch several times, like I think I've watched it about three or four more times and I've only been able to do that with about five animes out of like the 50 I've watched. So that, that so that's a good start. It's, I think it's 12 or 13 episodes, pretty sure it's 12. You'll have something to be looking forward to in episode six. Let's just say it gets a little sexual. I don't think there's a season 2, well there isn't a season 2 at the minute, but I don't know if there's going to be producing a season 2. There's rumours, and there's rumours that there's not going to be any more at all, so... Can't really tell you where we stand on that, I'm sorry. Okay. Although it would be cool to have a season 2, it did end at a nice place to end it off. Like, I don't feel unfinished. I feel finished, but I could, I could want more. I would also be happy with more. A good thing about this anime is it's definitely for the plot. And oh boy is the plot amazing. You have a nurse. And she's got the biggest melons you've probably ever seen. Probably not, to be honest. You, all you anime pervs. You know that typical anime boob boing sound? Yeah, there's a lot of that. And her boobs are just so impractical throughout the whole series season. But you'll like it anyway. You also have a lolly in there. You also have a whole harem, harem, harem going on. I personally don't like harems, but I guess it works but it sucks because I only like the main characters together, not any of the other side chicks. <laughs> there will be close-ups of action scenes and there'll be like bullets going through tits and under asses and whatnot. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty interesting. I don't really like fight scenes or action scenes, but that makes it enjoyable for me to watch because I guess you could say I'm a pervert. I'm not a pervert. That just makes the scenes interesting, okay? It's anime characters. That does not make me a pervert, okay? Okay, because it's zombie based. It's a zombie horror thingy. It gets really awkward during the intimate scenes because you shouldn't be turned on by that. But knowing you guys, you more than likely are going to be. But there's a zombie, an ugly ass zombie, okay? The characters are dressed sexually appealing and like wearing revealing clothing throughout the whole thing. Most of them are school outfits, but you know, anime school outfits, the skirts rise. As I mentioned, episode six you have to look forward to because there's a lot of fan servicing, a lot of fan servicing, and some fillers actually. The fillers are quite relaxing from all the action, which is pretty snazzy. My camera's dying, so I've sort of rushed this review. I'm sorry. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment your opinion on High School of the Dead if you've watched it. It'll be nice to know your opinions too. But I'm going to rate the other stuff too, which I'm reading straight off my phone, so you know what I mean. Art style, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's pretty nice. I like the colours. You know, it's pretty basic though. Characters, 7 out of 10. They were all quite lovable, but some of them were a bit eh. They weren't well developed enough because there was only 12 episodes. Storyline, about an 8 out of 10 to be honest. It's not too in depth, but it does just enough to make a story while having the plot. My overall personal rating is actually 10 out of 10. Never mind my previous ratings, they do suck coming to it. But I would rate it 10 out of 10 because I can watch it so many times and still not get bored of it. Even if it ain't my favourite art style, even if they ain't my favourite characters, I still love to watch it again and again. I would recommend this to certain people, such as straight guys, young adults and etchy lovers. I find it awkward recommending this to straight girls, they don't end up 
typically like in it. So I guess whatever floats your boat, try not to stereotype here. I hope this review was okay. This is my first video review apart from the thingy one, which I didn't like. So I hope this one went okay, and I hope if I do more, they get better. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. You'll stick with me then. Boom. So guys, here's my quick update. I have got a job interview. I've applied for a few jobs. I've learnt 1,000 words on Memrise. It's pretty swaggy. I am living off ice poles lately and sugar. Like, I can't eat any cooked food, just ice poles. Don't cook your ice poles, kids. 10 out of 10 would not recommend that at all. I think my voice is going a bit because I've got a bit of a sore throat coming on. I'm cool. My hat collection keeps growing. My everything keeps growing. But me. I also went to bingo for the first time. Didn't win, fortunately. But it was quite cool because I was a new member. I got free food. And because my mum signed me up, she got free food too. Honestly, I am 10 out of 10 not with it today at all. So, I'm sorry. I don't know what this video is going to look to be. Like, my little pony hat is protecting me from the sun. I am under the grapevines right now. And I'm outside. And I feel awkward. And I don't know where my voice is. I don't even know if you can hear me. Because I can't hear me. But... We're gonna deal with it. Don't you pee up my tripod.